please subscribe. Aerodynamic a Lamborghini at Hiva or Ala, and the folks from Santa Agata have just patented it because Ala is an entirely new way to do active aerodynamics. That isn't all that's improved, though. Power is up. And that's always a good thing. Especially when your garden variety Hurricane is capable of producing only 602 horsepower and 413 pounds to feet of torque from its 5.2 litre naturally aspirated V10. For performance duty, the engine gets new intake and exhaust camshafts, an air intake borrowed from the Gentleman Racer Super Trofeo Hurricanes, and a new exhaust system that relieves back pressure. The result is 25 to 40 more horsepower and an additional 30 pounds to feet of torque. Assume that final numbers will be between 625 and 640 horsepower and 453 pounds to feet of torque. They're still working out the details. The 7-speed dual-clutch transmission has also been re-optimized for crisper, smarter shifts. The last time we tested a Hurricane, it hit 60 miles per hour in 2.8 seconds. Expect the performance to be quicker. Weight is down by about 90 pounds, thanks in part to that new exhaust system, which alone reduces fat by nearly 25 pounds. The rest of the weight loss is due to increased use of forged carbon fiber composite, or forged carbon, FC, as Lamborghini would like you to call it. The largest single piece of FC on the performance is the rear wing, which is where the bulk of the Ala magic happens. The suspension has been massively reworked. The electric lime green hurricane with fixed dampers that I drove for an ignition episode had brilliant handling. To be blunt, the other one, our long-term hurricane, with magnetic dampers, did not. The dark grey Mr. Car pushed and understeered, and it felt a bit mushy, it also weighed 200 plus pounds more somehow. It simply wasn't as sweet. It's important to remember, though, the hurricane was Lamborghini's first use of magnet or heological shocks, they didn't do a great job. The Aventador Super Velos was their second effort, and based on that alone, my mind was at ease. The performance represents something of a third draft, and the results are stellar. The springs and anti-roll bars are retuned to provide 10% more vertical stiffness and 15% more roll stiffness. All the bushings are about 50% stiffer to cope with the stickier tires. The adjustable steering has been revamped, though most of the changes are in Corsa, track, mode. The performance also gets newly developed special application high performance Pali P0 courses. This caused the all wheel drive system to be reprogrammed and the ABS system to be reworked. Brake pedal feel is also improved. Finally, the escape system was revamped. Because the performance is more stable than the regular Hurricane, escape is less intrusive. Switch into sport mode, and you're essentially in drift mode. Then there's a la, for which you can thank Antonio Torlasio, Lamborghini's head of aerodynamics and previously an engineer on both the V10 and V12 programs. Torlasio describes a as a smarter way to do active aero. Think about traditional active aero, such as on the Bugatti Veyron or Lamborghini's own Centenario. Typically you have a large wing on some hydraulic struts. Based on conditions, the struts change the wing's position. It works, but there are two drawbacks. One is speed, as most hydraulically adjustable wings need about a second to move fully from one position to another. The second is weight, as hydraulic fluid is heavy. Enter Alabama rather than moving a large part around, Allah uses fast acting, electronically controlled motors to open and close flaps. The performance has a little flap in the snout, which can open to decrease downforce and drag. That's cool but not groundbreaking. The groundbreaking part of a lack can be found in the hollow FC wing. Each of the big uprights that support the wing is also hollow. Right under the engine cover sits a pair of small dual-mouthed intakes. One mouth on each feeds cool air onto the hot exhaust, and the other allows air to flow through an upright and into the wing. There's an outlet on the underside of the wing where the air exits. Like the front flap, 
the dual flaps can open to reduce drag and close to increase downforce. Or they can open one at a time. Depending on which direction the performance is turning, either flap can close in 0.2 second to create error vectoring. Turn right, for instance, and the right flap closes while the left flap opens. With the right flap closed, downforce is exerted on the right rear wheel while the left wheel is looser and free to rotate in an arc. The opposite is true if you turn the car in the other direction. Lamborghini Cesola works between 43 and 193 miles per hour any faster than that, and you don't want to be turning the steering wheel. I asked if they looked into putting aero vectoring on the front axle. Tolusia told me they did, but there was no advantage. The performance went very quickly around the Nürburgring Nordschleife. How fast? Well, Lamborghini's own Aventador Supervlo set a time of 6 minutes. 59.73 seconds. The only production car to ever circumnavigate more quickly is the Porsche 918 Spider, which laid down an ice cold 6 colon 57.00. The Hurricane Performante. Lambo ain't saying no matter how many times I ask, Rajani just smiles at me, but I heard mutterings of 652 something something. That would shatter the Porsche's record. We'll find out for sure when Lamborghini pulls the wraps off the performance in March at the Geneva International Motor Show. Please subscribe.